Hello young artist, welcome back to another Art for Kids Sunday. Today we're going to be drawing a shark. So grab your pencils and paper and let's get started. Okay everyone, for step one we're going to be starting with the head and we're just going to start off with a circle. So he's going to have a fin on top of his head so kind of account for some space above the circle. Uh, He's not going to be very this way. He's not going to be very tall. He's going to be more wide than he is tall. So you're, if you're here in the center, you're pretty much going to be good. So let me see. Uh, a circle. Let me see what a good size is. Maybe like that. So that's pretty close. All right, so that is the start of our drawing. Step one is completed. Let's move on to step two. So step two, we're going to alter our circle a bit to fit the shape of this head. So what I want to do is I want to come in like that, and then I want to go back out. All right, so we're going to go back out and meet up with the circle again. And then as soon as we touch that circle, we're going to cut in quite drastically. So like that. All right, so that bottom portion of our circle we are not going to use. So let me, I want this to curve down a little bit more. So maybe like that is better. All right, and I'm gonna stop it about right there because uh, for other reasons, we're going to be drawing some fins and stuff like that. So on the top here, let's go ahead and give him a fin, our iconic shark fin. So maybe like that. Yeah, that's better. And then we will curve it on top. And then we'll come like that. So I kind of wanted it to come in again and then go back out here at the end. So I think that's good. All right, and then from this fin, the head is gonna come out. So we're gonna follow that shape of the circle, yet, We're going to start close to it and then we're going to flare out some so probably about like that okay and then you could go ahead and erase these other parts of the circle that we don't need anymore so maybe that part and that part so now we've got the beginnings of this so we're looking good that is step two done let's move on to step three so step three, we're going to put in some more fins, and they're going to kind of look like hands in a way. So we're going to start right here under the chin, and we're going to come, I want it to go this way. So we're going to go out like that, we're going to have it curve around, and then we're going to come up. And I'm going to stop it about right there for now. Okay. We'll, we will judge the size of it once we get the rest of the shark done. So right here we're going to put another fin in and we're going to take it from right here and we're going to kind of round it off there and then we're going to curve it under like that. So I think that's good. Okay, so that is step three done. Let's move on to step four. Okay, so step four is going to be completing the rest of the body. So what we're going to do, let's see what will be, probably down here will be the best place to start on this. So what we're gonna do is we're going to do a curved line going up and we want it to come to about right, maybe there. Let's see what that looks like. I'm gonna do it very lightly so that I'll be able to erase it if I need to. So kind of a curved, just like that. Okay, so I'm thinking he might be a little bit too short, but we'll see here. So we want this side to come down. And this is gonna be the tail here. So if I go up here, come down, and then maybe have another one come up like that. Let me see what that shape. Mm, actually, I think it looks kind of good. Yeah, I think it looks kind of good. I was worried that it's too compact this way, but I think it's gonna be okay. 
maybe we will fix this curve a bit so to be not so deep yeah guys I think I think that's gonna work so we'll leave it just like that so the tail here is just kind of like what would we describe this as a Pac-Man younger guys you might not know what a Pac-Man is <laughs> uh, but yeah it's basically a, a if you took a circle like this and then you went in like that so kind of that sort of a shape all right so that is step four let's move on to step five so step five we're gonna put in his eyes and his eyes are just gonna be two little curved shapes and at first I'm gonna kind of pencil these in to see if they're right where I want them I think they can be a little bit smaller so I'm going to do maybe there and then I don't want this one to come out quite so far and maybe there yeah, I like that. So two little happy smiling eyes. And then we can make those a little bit bigger. And just add some volume to them. Kind of like that. Okay, and that is step five done. Let's move on to step six. Okay, so step six, we're going to go ahead and put in his mouth. So his mouth just gonna be a half circle shape. So we're gonna do like a smile first, which is gonna be pretty up close to his eyes. So round like that, up to about there. And then we're going to do a loop to connect those. All right, I think I want this loop to come down more. So we'll come. like that yeah that's good so maybe there and then we need a tongue I'm just gonna do a rounded shape for a tongue like that actually I'm gonna do that again I want that tongue to come up more on the side right there all right and then we're gonna give him some teeth so we're gonna have a tooth here and then we're gonna have two one two right there all right and then maybe we'll do a little line here and a line there all right I think that is going to do it for our sketch I think it turned out pretty good so let's move into the coloring process next Okay guys, so for our colors, I will put them on the screen right now of what we'll be using today. Uh, the biggest color is probably going to be this light blue. So let's start with it. Now, we are going to have some different colors on the body, but it's not going to be separated by a line. So we need to go ahead and map that out first, what we want to do. So take your blue and we're going to connect this little rounded shape on the head right there to the mouth the top of the mouth so that part right there is going to be blue above it but the part down below it is not going to be blue and then over here let's come out near the fin here and we're going to connect it to this side of the mouth in a curve kind of like that all right so all this upper half is going to be blue all right and then from the fin here we are going to have a line like that actually let me do that one again so I want it to touch the end of that line right there so like that and then above that's gonna be blue and then we're gonna come down here 
and we're going to go around all the way to right there. Okay, and then right here we're going to have another one. So we're going to kind of come out from the body here and then we're going to go up to the fin there. Alright, and that fin's going to be blue, the tummy is going to be white, all of the rest of this is going to be blue. So the blue parts are going to be up here and this fin right here. The bottom of the mouth and the tummy is going to be white. Alright, so let's go ahead and start coloring it in. This is the part where I will speed the video up. You guys can push pause and when you're finished coloring yours, hit play again. Okay guys, we're back. We've got the blue part done. Uh, the next portion, let's do the inside of his mouth. So I have got a kind of a reddish, purplish, kind of a darker purplish, more towards the red side. And I'm going to do the inside of the mouth, not the tongue, but the inside of the mouth. That's good, and now let's do the pink, and that's gonna be his tongue. Okay, and also let's go ahead and add in his pink cheeks. So we're gonna just do kind of some little ovals here, right under the eye, on that side, and on this side. So just two little rounded shapes for his pink cheeks. All right, and all right, next, we're gonna add some sh shadows in this time. So you got your darker blue color, and then what we're gonna do is we're going to make out a shape about right here, and then except for that little piece right there, we're gonna color everything here where the blue's at just a little bit darker. <laughs> Okay, just about like that. That's good. And the bottom portion of the tail here, this is going to be darker. There we go. And what else? We're going to do a little piece right here. And then it's going to run down very close to this line all the way down to about right there. Okay, is that all? I think that is all. Yep, that's all for the shadow. All right, next let's do, let's do our black. So we're going to color in the eyes next. Okay, that's good. All right, and the last thing is to do, actually, you know what, before we do our outline, take your yellow here, and this is a, a kind of a yellowish orange in a way, and just wanna put some little crosses, kind of like that, just for decoration. We'll do one there. Let's do one here. And we'll do a bigger one here. Okay, and then let's take your light blue. And we're gonna make it like a little rounded bubble shape. All right, and we're just going to color that in, but we're going to leave like a little white dot in the middle. There we go, and then we can put just a little circles around it. So that's just going to be a little decoration there. All right, now pick up your black and let's do our outline. Okay, so wherever there is a pencil mark, we're going to go ahead and do that in black outline.
Okay guys, and that is it. I think he turned out excellent. He is super cute. Uh, I'm sure your parents will be happy with what you created. And for the adults who did the lesson, shh, I hope you did real well also. So I want to thank everybody for joining me. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you would like to receive the high-res instruction sheets that tell you the exact colors I use and have a bigger diagram that you can follow along with, you can go check that out on Patreon and you can join up and get all of those downloads. You'll also get a free Patreon only video that is not on the YouTube channel just for you. So with that, I will see you guys next week. Take care and keep practicing.